hello everyone welcome to smart channel today i'm going to discuss about few mainframe interview questions which are asked in top mnc companies first question is static call and dynamic call among these two which is best suppose if i declare a program dynamic will it be creating the load module dynamically every time when it calls so it is depends on requirement if the program is undergoing frequent changes then dynamic call is better if the program is not changing frequently then static is better load module is link edited in static but it is separated in dynamic that's why static call is faster than dynamic call the static call is preferred if your application is not required services of dynamic call if storage is a concern then go for the dynamic call because if the program is called in few times regardless of whether it is used a static program always loaded in the storage but in dynamic call program will be loaded only when required hence the dynamic call doesn't create load module every time next question is when you are increasing length of the field in one of the master file what are your impact analysis suppose if we are increasing length of the field check the copy books or file in how many modules it is used if the file length changes then need to change all the downstream jobs if needed if this field is using in any, any working storage areas then need to change the related programs palm card changes in the jcl if needed if this field is moving to other field of copy books or database field then those programs also need to be considered where there are multiple applications interaction with your application and a new file is coming in for a process what are the process or necessary steps that will be taken care when you receive that new file So first of all we need to check how much data that file has whether your application program able to handle that file or not whether it comes with any day as empty file when it will be received if it previous day file then need to inform to concerned team so this can be achieved by using validate date and time with current date in the sort step so we can get whether the file is previous day file or not you need to run the particular job after 10 days but need to schedule today how that can be achieved so for this we need to contact scheduling team if job is abandoned with sock 4 what would be the solution check if there is, there are any initialized indexes or subscripts in the program check if the program is reading write any file with is open or not check the logical record length matches with the length of the file specified in the program and invalid address reference due to subscript error how to resolve sock 7 how to identify which line facing issue without display statement we can get sock 7 due to bad data whenever we move a non numeric 2a com com 3 or numeric variable also when we do calculations on bad data we need to compile our code with palm options list and test to resolve sock 7 first whenever job events we need to take the offset value given in the sysout we can check in the fault analyzer for the offset values go to the compiler listing the offset is provided for each line with hex lock along with the line number check that offset value within the range in the listing there is a ps file with 1000 records i want to copy records from 200 to 500 record only how to achieve this so this can be achieved by using sort code sort fields equal to copy skip record from 199 and stop after 500 so it will be copied between these 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू राइट फर्स्ट रिकॉर्ड फ्रॉम इनपुट फाइल टू आउटपुट फाइल वन सेकेंड रिकॉर्ड टू आउटपुट फाइल टू थर्ड रिकॉर्ड टू आउटपुट फाइल थ्री आफ्टर दैट राइट फोर्थ रिकॉर्ड फ्रॉम इनपुट फाइल टू आउटपुट फाइल वन फिफ्थ रिकॉर्ड टू आउटपुट फाइल टू सिक्स टू आउटपुट फाइल थ्री एंड सोन सो दिस कैन अचीव बाई यूजिंग शॉर्ट कॉड बाई यूजिंग सैम्पल सो शॉर्ट फिल इज इक्वल टू कॉपी आउटफिल एफ नेम्स इक्वल टू आउट वन सैम्पल इक्वल टू थ्री आउटफिल एफ नेम्स इक्वल टू आउट टू स्टार्ट ट्रेक इक्वल टू टू सैम्पल इक्वल टू थ्री एंड ट्रेक फाइव हंड्रेड सो द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट out out one says it will copy first record and picked picked up every third record from the current record the output file contains 1 4 7 so on and the second statement out to it starts from it copies from second and it will picked every third record from the current record so the output file contains 2 5 8 11 and the third output file which starts from 3 and the output file contains 3 6 9 12 and so on how do you calculate the total length of a variable without using inspect command also with inspect without inspect compute length of field equal to function length of variable name with inspect inspect variable name tallying l for trailing spaces or inspect function reverse of variable name tallying l for leading spaces compute l equal to length of variable name minus l by using these statements we can achieve this the next question is there is only one cobol program which you have written and it is not calling any sub program do you need to do both compile and link or only compiling is sufficient so we know like while compilation using igycrctl only object code will be created but on link edit iewl in that step it will be converted into machine language so both are required please write it in comments if you have any questions hope it will be useful for you guys please subscribe for more updates from this channel